Nom nom. If you're wondering why I have a gun, I don't have a gun. Don't worry about it. Like and subscribe. It's me, Nagan Yumu. We're gonna watch. If the Emperor had text to speech, episode 10. No, I'm joking. We're gonna start, we're gonna start with episode 1. This playlist does not have episode 1. Uh, hold on, hold on. We're gonna start with episode one. Don't worry, don't worry. 24. Is it this one? Oh, this is two. April's Fools. Hmm. Oh, it's this one. Adorable Centurion. We jump to episode 10? No, it's because the playlist that you find on his channel, the first season has episode 10 at the very beginning. It doesn't have episode 1, I don't know why. But we're gonna watch it from the start because I don't know what this is about. Yes? Yes. Do you feel comfortable, chat? Do you feel comfortable? You got, uh, you got your snacks? Should I uh, take away the gun? I'm gonna put it like just below here. So you feel comfortable. Okay? It's not here, don't worry. Yes. Yes. Adorable Centurion! Let's go! Uh, volume a little bit high. Text to speech, adorable in in centurion. Away. Ooh, juicy sound effects. I really do hope this works. Is everything prepared? The text to speech device has been implemented. <laughs> it appears to be functioning properly. Oh my god, the animation and is amazing. I love it. Fled. Most excellent. Our glorious Emperor will be capable of conversing with his royal subjects once more. And I shall be the first to speak with him. Oh? Oh, I could just take off my arm. No! Oh no. my god! Oh, I restrained myself from Millennia. Oh my god, this, this guy! He wants to do something. He wants to take off his arm right away. <laughs> Jesus! Well, my divine lord, we have managed to implement a text-to-speech device to your glorious golden throne. Please, lord, speak to us. Speak to us. <laughs> About what? fucking time. Oh! Our glorious lord commands It's working! I have so many things to complain about. First of all, why do I only have a fucking glass eye on one of my eyes? Is that really necessary? And what is with these ultra smurfs that I keep hearing about? Ultra uh, smurfs? Oh. Um. Wait, are, are you referring to the ultra marines? Oh, ultra oh, smurfs. They ask about your greatest warriors. Well, that certainly fucking explains it. It seems like <laughs> the baby blue heraldry oh, have the most blue. righteous nickname. For that matter, I always thought they looked terrible. Oh Do they shit! They still have that fucking toilet seat as their. Dude, why is the Emperor talking uh, smack about his own uh, Marines? Jesus Christ. Well, yes, they do, my <laughs> They keep it to honor their Primarch, Robot Gunner. Oh, well, all Robot. right then. I always thought he was the greatest of my 20 Primarch sons. Oh? Well, that's excellent, my The love. greatest little derivative pile of blueberry pudding Ooh, pop fuckery that damn. has ever glazed the surface of this shitty Oh my galaxy. god, he's so mean! Oh. Why is he so mean? Is he still alive? Barely. He was almost killed. He's currently in state to in the old Marine's homeworld of a crowd. Cut his life supports and tell that stupid fucking Smurf village to fuck right off. 
Their constant uninterrupted chatting is drilling into my skull as if they were the immensely sanctimonious love child of Tinnitus and the jackhammer. Ooh! The destruct keeps going! Sheesh! tender massage compared to this inexpressible ultra torture. Um, well, I'll see what I can do. Aw, poor guy. I never created anything called Grey Knights. Uh oh. But, but Lord, they're the greatest of Persian demons in the Imperium. They're all psychers, and they come up with the most glorious ways of killing the enemies of man. Why, at the few you, you. Bring in the Grey Knights! Oh, oh. greetings, my glorious Emperor. It is a big order. guy. Oh, myself. What the fucking fuck is that? Oh, myself. Stupid thing? <laughs> it is the that is the worst thing that I have oh, ever myself. fucking seen ever. If I still had eyes, I would require someone to deposit Prometheum infused floor cleaner into them. What Ooh. terrible, terrible person designed Oh, my guy, so yeah, mean. Jesus. This marvelous machine was discovered by the Grey Knights and is held secretly for all inferior of Stalin's Dude, he's like, um. Uh, a father that will never be proud of his sons, you know? Sorry for pausing. He's, he's like the disappointed father. Hmm. Disappointed boomer father. We are the Hammer! We are the Hammer! He is the designed by the Grand Master of the Grey Knights himself, Caldor Dragon. He is the mightiest of the Grey Knights. He is currently we are the Hammer! War, killing demons daily. Pillaging demonic villages and vandalizing the Chaos God's property like some kind of glorious rask. He has even written a name on a demon Primarch's heart. <laughs> For the love this of so all dumb, in the galaxy, sees and sees. desist. Oh. What in the fuck? That is actually very cute. Aww, Look at its little it's legs cute. and its oversized body. Adorable. Aww. And to pop on you. What? Aww. Wait, no, That's so cute. Yes. This is funny, Tommy. Well, Aww. I don't know about you, but He's pleased by something. something absolutely glorious. Shut your face, you fucking banana. Yes, I'm <laughs> 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 He's a banana. <laughs> He's shut your face, you fucking banana. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> He's a banana. Oh my god, dude, I'm famous! I'm being recommended! My my stream is being recommended to a video I'm watching, wow! <laughs> That's a cute one. I mean, it is cute. The The yellow thing is cute. I don't know what it is. The disappointed... Look. The disappointed father found the favorite. That's amazing. Yellow baby. He likes the yellow baby. <laughs> Bumblebee from Transformer. <laughs> the banana, he's a banana. Oh my god, he's so proud of everything. But the uh, Emperor is not having any of it. That's kind of sad. I feel for this man, dude. Except for the part where he said he wants to take off his armor at the start. That was weird. <laughs> In head canon lore, Emperor have a 21st century personality. Mm. Emperor has always been an asshole for so this is lore is accurate. This is lore accurate. Oh my god, he's so mean. So disappointed in everyone. Still eating some snacks. Ah. Eating pandas for snacks. Mm. How to come from Twitch to follow you here too and I reveal my real name. Who's this? Hello. Who are you? Don't tell me this is soft. I think the Centurion unit of Space Marine. The, the banana? This banana is a... Uh... Centurion? <laughs> I just call him banana. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Wait, I think this is a custode, no? Custodes? Custodes? I don't know how to pronounce that word. 
because of this hairstyle on the helmet. They all look big, body, small feet one. Oh, this is a centurion, the cute one. Cute one is a centurion, okay. Custards? Custards? Custodes? This guy? Yeah, the banana? The Emperor fight it. No, that Emperor fight it. Kill him, funny. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is this the second part? Religiosity. So, let me get this straight. It has been 10,000 years since my angsty asshole of a son Horos made me a paraplegic and put on this throne. <laughs> that is correct, <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. How did for 10,000 years without me around? Well, oh my god. Well, the Imperium has safely preserved your teachings and followed it for all these years, always submitting to your superior will. That's a relief. For a second I thought you guys would have turned into some giant megalomaniacal group of religious people running around killing each other in the name of some uh -oh. fictional deity or something uh -oh. like that. Oh no, of course not, my lord. I thought they would never. never. So low. The only one we <laughs> they would never, never. is the one true god of all is you, of course. Everything else is heresy. Are you fucking serious? Oh, what is upsetting you, almighty god emperor of mankind? I knew this would fucking happen. Oh, my lord, you oh, don't have no. to worry about anything. Don't the worry about it. And the Imperial Inquisition both make sure that the people of the Imperium retain their faith in you and you alone by making sure that no one knows about the corrupting powers of chaos. And if they somehow figure it out, they'll just exterminate the planet and it's all safe again. <laughs> the Ecclesiarchy? The Inquisition? The Inquisition? Are you serious, damn it, he really well searched on the way to Ooh, oh, it's warming. What? What's going on? Why are you okay. slapping himself? Remember the Age of Strife? Um, aren't you referring to the Age of Apostasy, sir? No. The Age of Strife. Let me tell you. It was when asshole Sigurds first started appearing, and all oh. asshole mankind started fighting each other over asshole reasons. That asshole is when reasons. I first emerged. <laughs> I destroyed all asshole religions that existed on Terra. Do you want to know why? Because you are the one true god, my lord. Wrong. It is because religion is stupid, superstitious, brainwashing crap that makes you into an asshole. This is why I specifically said when designing the Imperial Truth that equality, science, and galaxy conquests is the way to go, and religion needs to be thrown out a window. Uh, oh no! They did the opposite of uh, what the Emperor wanted. Uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> What about the Lectito Divinitatus, telling us that you are our one true god? The that what? was written by my wife, which son Lurgar, who later decided to dress up in spikes, scarlet red armor, worship some dark gods, and be really fucking edgy. Edgy? Stupid, Who's the edgy? Stupid, teenage phases. Ah. What, what, what? Who's the edgy guy? Who later decided to dress up true god. That was written by my whiny bitch of a son Lurgar. Lorgar decided to dress up in spikes, scarlet red armor, oh, it's the metal guy. some dark gods, and be really Lorgar is the metal guy. Stupid rebellious teenage phases. Ah, well, I see, my lord. Oh, now, rebellious teenager. Where is my centurion? <laughs> yes, this is true happiness. So <laughs> where is my centurion? <laughs> that mention? That's so um, cute. He has a pet. Well... The centurion is a pet. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. Oh, I love the centurion. It's a pet now. <laughs> it's a permanent uh, character. <laughs> this is why Kiriman is super depressed. <laughs> oh, because the emperor loved the centurion more than anything else in the world. <laughs> But it's so cute! Did you see it? Oh my god! When it uh, when this when it when it uh, dropped on his lap. Uh, now, where is my Centurion? Ah, oh, that's cute right there, it, dude. That's very cute. What do you mean? Oh, I love it. <laughs> New wallpaper. Mm, so cute. It's like a pet. <laughs> They're supposed to be atheist. Oh. And then he and then he woke up in the middle of the religious insanity. 
Because he was a Reddit atheist and then turned him into a god. Of course, of course. He was an atheist, of course, huh? Mm. What I didn't know Soph is in chat right now. Is Soph in chat? Sheesh. Somebody told me Soph is in chat. Mm. Show yourself, Soph. Man, well, why do you have different account? Why do you have different names on on platforms? Do you, you you need one name for all the platforms? I'm not gonna in all platforms. You see, big body and small foot, cute. It is cute. <laughs> it is my lead. episode three. Let's go. The age of apostasy. The fuck does that mean? Act of refusing to continue to follow or bear recognized religious faith. Abandonment of previous loyalty defection. It's the act of refusing to obey. Apostasy. Apostasy! Okay. Y yes, my lord. This happened. On behalf of all mankind, I'm really sorry, my lord. I truly am. Really sorry. Let all those nutty cults gain a hold of mankind and grow to become a state religion. A state the religion. Becoming this fucking ecclesiarchy thing. And then people start to cut their own fucking spleen out, waving it around <laughs> and throwing it at people. <laughs> they cut their own spleen, Jesus. Oh, that's disgusting. Really They're all full of Jesus. Let Ugh. some power hungry motherfucking bureaucrat become the master of both the administrative and that overly dominant ecclesiarchy grog shit, effectively controlling all our hot leathery assassins from the official the Hot leathery assassins, dude. I agree about that part. When he said the hot the hot sexy assassins, what did he say? Master oh my god. Both the I remember the assassins. That They're very sexy. Ecclesiarchy grog shit. Effectively controlling all our hot leathery assassins. Yes, hot leathery assassins. I remember them. The 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 leather shows their their crotch. <laughs> the crotch shot. <laughs> the emphasis on the on the gooch. Oh, assassins from right. the Officio Assassin room and all asshole psychers in the Adeptus Astra Telepathica. Oh, Astra Telepathica. Flashlight guys as well. Flashlight guys. Yeah. This balls to the walls paramount of imperial incompetence that has become your leader starts to kill and torture anyone and everyone uh -oh. he feels like because uh -oh. it makes his bureaucrat balls tingle with delight, initiating a massive, totally pointless purge of all mankind. And in addition, he did all this with the most evil fucking name I've ever heard. Go Van Dyer. Van Dyer? How could you ever trust a guy with that name? G O G E Van Dyer. That name is just screaming, I'm gonna take your eyes sockets and put my penis into them. Oh, oh, oh you know, Look, that's, that's Lord, gross. Why? I don't need to know this. Oh, <laughs> but he was born to justice in the end. Oh, I was even there when it happened. So, uh, uh, the and the I cannot get over that. General came around and told us what Van Dyer had been up to all this time. And then we helped out by conveying the truth of the matter to the leader of Van Dyer's bodyguards, the bride to the emperor. Ah, I gotta pay attention. Why I remember it all like it was yesterday. Five thousand years later. Secret Mary. God Emperor himself, upon the golden throne of Terra. He is so beautiful. I have never seen anything as graceful and bewitching in all my life. I know, that's graceful. Right? To clean his oh my God, they're fun boys. <laughs> so unfathomably jealous i could burn you all right now but i won't so don't worry but still right right anyway, as you can see van dyer is not the one you're supposed to be looking up to he doesn't do anything but deceive to gain more power he is a madman and his reign of blood must be stopped <laughs> hey, are you even listening Oh, she's fine, girling. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I spaced out. The emperor has some 
quite divine looking abs. Actually, Ooh. that's just bones jutting out. But anyway, I think <laughs> it's just, just the bones. for a long time, but his megalomaniacal ways must come to an end. Oh. Okay. Okay. You have committed the ultimate heresy. Okay. Not only have you turned your back on the Emperor and stepped from his light, you have profaned his name and almost destroyed Oh, no, not this one. It's fine. You have Doggy Bandaier. His love of battle, sister feet. Oh, oh my God, he's nasty. You walk in the darkness and cannot be allowed to live. He's down bad. Oh. Time to die. I'm too busy. I don't have time to die. I'm too, too busy. <laughs> Some girl came in here and stared at me with depraved, flustered eyes. If I had the proper bodily components left, I would probably have gotten a fairly insecure boner. That's the Adeptosaurus for you! Oh my god! What you is this? <laughs> what is this show? Huh? Oh, <laughs> what is this no, show? Jesus! Impossible. Only lewd and deviant artists of pen and parchment ever come up with something like that. Even then, if we can catch all of them in the middle of the process, we end up throwing them into the fire. It's good. The Adeptus Astartes can only contain males. No girls allowed. They are no yucky. girls allowed. Oh, oh they're Lord. yucky. Oh so no. What's up with this Inquisition thing? Oh boy. They're yucky. They got the cooties. <laughs> so dumb. Ah. There's a bunch of stuff that I found disgusting in this episode. <laughs> oh, they should just call it the Age of the Astusi. Apostusi, I mean, not Astusi, my bad. The Apostusi. <laughs> Ugh, especially about that part where you gotta take your eye sockets and stick your pee in it. Ah, oh, God. Ooh. Well, now I I remember somebody commenting on uh, one of my videos about... What is his name? Vandair? Someone did comment about that. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I see why people are kind of... They want me to know about this uh, character. All right, all right. <laughs> I don't have time to die. I'm too busy. And that was too busy. No, this is that was too busy. What can I say? Where the hell did they come to? It's uh, it's that was too busy. Dodge Softer, Dodge Bander. I don't know his real name. The Gorge. Okay, next episode. The the what? Okay, let's see. The the Inquisition. I don't even I actually don't know what Inquisition means. It's, it's, it's just about asking questions, yes. Period of prolonged intensive questioning or investigation. It's prolonged investigation. All right, Inquisition to see. Let's go. Actually, Actually, I think I have mm -hmm. to go now. Stop. Uh oh. You're telling me about this Inquisition thing. Oh, hold it. Wow. I think that's your regular everyday meal of a thousand sacrifice salt being Oh, it's nervous. Take on it. What was that? Nothing, my lord. Nothing at all. Oh, no. He's nervous. <laughs> I'll just go now. What the? Oh. You are not going anywhere until oh. you tell me about the Inquisition. How did you do that? Have you forgotten? I'm the fucking Emperor. I sit around and randomly shit out warp storms daily because I have nothing better to do. Aww. Now, tell me. Uh oh. Oh no, he's scared! He's shrinking! Why are there so many I think I shat out at least five warp storms during that presentation. <laughs> shat really, out at least five warp storms? Labor camps and sterilizations? Murder millions over bare superstition? Excommunication of actually loyal Astartes? Have thousands oh. of Imperial planets and its valuable assets destroyed because some by fact with barbed wire Ooh, and accidentally Oh, with barbed wire! Oh. Be painfully hypocritical and use Xenos and demonic weaponry in aid in order to carry across my will. Oh no! Use techno monkeys? <laughs> techno monkeys? Wait, what is the techno monkeys? What? 
I don't understand it. I've never heard any techno monkey from the faction explained. Bricky didn't tell me about the techno monkeys. The Gooch Van Dyer. Did you watch War Ham West Hammer short? Explain na. Mechanicus? Oh, the Mechanicus! The Orangutanicus. <laughs> oh no. Well, why is the Techno Monkeys? They are a race of Orangutans that's super good with technology. Oh, it's the Mechanicus, the Techno Monkeys. Alright. <laughs> Uh... The Inquisition's works has saved mankind on numerous occasions, like during the High Fleet Leviathan Crisis, where the Inquisitor known as Cryptman stepped forward. The Tyranids, which he had previously named them, had managed to outmaneuver the Imperium, but thanks to Cryptman, their threat was abolished. He had managed to have a Mangos concoct a poison against the Tyranids, which they then managed to defeat them entirely with. Am I gonna have to start writing a list over things I don't know what the fuck you are talking about? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, <sighs> right. It's kinda nasty. But still, it was quite heroic of him. And how much did this threat cost to abolish? Um Well, let's well, just say he didn't have yes. the luxury to count the cost. Anyway, oh. there was also one time during the first war of Armageddon where the Grey Knights helped the Space Wolves fight off a demon Primarch. Please don't get oversensitive about the Primarch thing. I really don't need more of this. Now you're bringing out those <laughs> He's gonna cry, no! With that stupid ass baby carrier Dread Knight thing. My inexistent eyes are still sore from seeing that abomination. Yes, Aww. but truly the space no gray received for this great guy. aid from the Grey Knights in their battle. And then what? Uh, what do you mean? What happened after the battle had ended? Uh, well... <laughs> The Space Wolves kind of wanted to save the survivors of the war, but the Inquisition sort of wanted to put them into labor camps and to sterilize them and have them die off, which the, um, Space Wolves didn't really like that much, so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, there was oh, a cold no. war, and the Grey Knights betrayed the Space Wolves, and some shit happened, but that isn't important. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that important. <laughs> Because, well, one time the Grey Knights were bloodthirsty using an ancient, very dangerous technology known as the Blood Tide from destroying a world, and it was truly glorious. And then what? Oh shit, um, they killed a massive amount of innocent sisters of battle and adorned their army oh, in their Oh no! Blood. Just... Fucking... Stop. Oh my this god! This organization, however it came to fucking be, was obviously pure, concentrated, whole brain stupidity. And who cool, great to pay it. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. obviously a fucking idiot. They walk around and do whatever they fucking feel like while laughing really snarky at the, the whole green stupidity they see before them, all while having themselves and all their troops ornate in loads of fucking shiny shit and skulls to look oh so emperor worshipping when really they are just creeps in trench coats. And that uh -oh. is all they will ever be. Now, ready yourself. Creeps in trench coats. The scribes, I want it sent to every corner of the fucking galaxy. I, uh -oh. the Emperor of Mankind, hereby uh -oh. make my official decree that all organizations contained within the Holy Orders of the Emperor's Inquisition and the Adeptus Ministorum shall be disbanded and removed from existence. All who work for either organization all organizations shall return to their will be disbanded? Earth and work there as a regular citizen once more. All who refuse shall be branded renegades until they have given up their futile strive to conquer the galaxy in the name of their dogmatic religion. Sign, the Emperor of Mankind. Yes! Uh, I shall go ahead and do that immediately, my lord. I'll be back <laughs> He is not gonna do that. This is all fucking nuts. Seriously, how it could an organization like this spring into Exista? Wait a <sighs> moment, I remember something. Uh oh Flashback! Shipa. This can't be for real. Malkador. Oh, a flashback? We're getting a flashback? This is fancy! Mark Lord Ador. Inquisitor Fyodor Karnas. What is it? Do not waste my time. I am very busy initiating exterminatus on this mining world without giving me the shiny shit we need. 
see it. You see, we can't have our soldiers walking around without the blame. A very important message has been sent to you Ooh. directly from Holy Terror itself. What is it about? Here, read it. What? What? This is heresy! Oh. There's more. Oh my god. The plot thickens. And I don't understand anything of it. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I don't understand anything. <laughs> Malkadoid the Sigilit. Sigilt. Aww. He wants to stop this uh thing all right he wants to stop this uh, what did he say in that oh my god my brain cannot process this so much information the organizations they want oh he wants to disband everything and then he be he became very nostalgic about malkador Whoever that is. <sighs> Explain. Explain everything from episode 1 to episode five. 4, I mean. Mm? Sure. Explain, explain. Pretty sure they also were ready to try to kill the Primark of the Ultramanage at one point. Who? Who made the mistake? Why, uh, what's happening? Explain yourself. I got a gun. Sigillate? Sigillate? You wanna hear an orc song? <laughs> Is that gonna explain anything? <laughs> the orc song. Oh my. What's told uh, the Emperor's strongest warriors? Yeah, the banana guy. They uh, protect him. The banana guy. Banana guy. But when he started talking about like what happened with the Inquisition, I'm like, what? I don't. I didn't follow it. I got too distracted by what he said in the beginning. Whole grain stupidity. The whole grain stupidity distracted me. The reason why some of them are oiled up buff men is because of first edition. <laughs> oiled up buff men. <laughs> I need to see this. <laughs> I'm gonna google it. <laughs> oiled up buff men. <laughs> I need to see this oiled up buff man. It's very important for research. Hmm. Oh, these are figures though. They don't see any oiled up buff men, dude. You're lying. Where are the oiled men? I don't see them. Oh, maybe this. Oiled up buff custodian. Makador is Imp's best friend. Ah, he has a best friend. Oh, these guys. They look like a Spartans. This, this is what you mean by the oiled up buff man? Mm. Some part of custodians who got out outside looking for a potential officer for imperium postodes went on for a while not wearing very much in the streets after the emperor's death <laughs> they don't wear much <laughs> the emperor died jeez oh that's why he said in the first episode that he he's gonna take his armor the banana guy hmm. they'll appear soon in the show costodes are now out 
Giliman, you release them to fight the enemies of the Imperium. Oh, the Custodes are not the banana. It's not the banana guy. Oh. I thought it's the banana guy. What the hell? I'm confused. I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. I don't understand what you're talking about. Gilliman is the blueberry boy. Oh, blueberry. But he's a Primark now. He, mm, maybe the Emperor doesn't really favor him that, that much. That's why he calls him blueberry boy. Oh. Blueberry boy. I like blueberries though. Hold on, I am I'm I'm waiting for my laptop to respond. All custodians are bananas. There are a few banana boys. Strip stodes are the oil guys from the series Tech to Speech. <laughs> Strip stodes. <laughs> Gilliman is a master at management. Mm. 18. Ah, okay, okay. There's 18 sons, not 20. Of course, of course. Nobody wants to talk about the other two, huh? I was asking about it earlier. Nobody wants to talk about the other two. Made the planetary empire before the imps found him. Malkador? The best friend? Pray to Dom Mishaya. How do you pray? That's the prayer. Praise to the toaster. Agree. Agree. I love the toasters. My favorite. Toasters are my favorite right now. The technological monkeys. That's how you pray. Zero one zero one zero zero one zero one zero one 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 zero zero one. Okay, gotcha. Episode five. Let's go. Malkador. Oh, he's gonna explain Malkador. Oh my god, I should have just read the title. I didn't know he was gonna talk about Malkador, Chan. Come on. My lord, the deed has been done, and it took a fuckload of time. At least three thousand scribes died, and I somehow managed to get a headache in the process. But the message has been sent to all inquisitorial and ecclesiarchal organizations in the galaxy. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, I need to stretch. Is he sleeping? My lord? Uh, hello? Are you, are you awake? He's sleepy. Oh, he's having a flashback, that's right. I have completed the mission. Oh? Please, if you will always see them, I will be ready to make my sacrifice. You have done well, my faithful servant. I trusted you to find me the most inquisitive and trustworthy this galaxy has to offer, and you succeeded. I approve of your selection, Malkador. Anybody around here that does not talk like <sighs> the Star Wars guy? What's his name? <laughs> Darth Vader. Why is everybody talking like Darth Vader? It is chaos. Now that my final duty has come to an end, I shall make my final sacrifice for you, my own.
Behold the greatest sacrifice of our age. Oh, what is it? Malkador the Sigilit is Sigilit. no more. Henceforth, he shall always and only ever be Malkador the hero. Sacrifice that my most loyal servant ever made by turning the organization he laid the foundation for into an elitist shit fest is inexcusable. <laughs> Excuse me, my lord. I don't think I He interrupted the flashback. A hero, previously known as Malkador the Sigilate. He was my bro for life, and the Ah, oh, the bro! He was the one who ruled and spread the word <laughs> of the Imperium in my stead while I was tinkering with his throne. If it weren't for that disappointment of a son Magnus the Bookworm, who just Magnus. had to fall to the temptations of chaos, and sent a brain-shattering psychic phone call to me with his powers, the barriers that protected my greatest project, the webway of mankind, would end up in ruin, and Malkator wouldn't have had to make his sacrifice. Aww. Oh. So, um... Everything is Magnus's fault? Definitely. Oh. If Shit. I could, I'd brutally Revelation. Stay his until his ass would turn so red that his face would look pale in comparison. <laughs> <laughs> Come to think of it, Spank. Oh alive? my. What if he hmm. likes it? Last time I heard he's a demon prince now, residing in the Eye of Terror on the planet of the sorcerers. Sounds really fucking nerdy. Just like him. <laughs> Later, nerdy, I oh my god. Magnus the nerd. There ...and try to get a hold of Magnus and then bring them here to me. If they fail, they'll at least not be so fucking snobby anymore. And if they succeed, I'll get to spank Magnus, so it's all good. Very well. Oh my god, all he really wants to do the spanking. Now, I wonder how the disbanding of all those shitty cult organizations is going. There is no doubt about it, fellow Inquisitors. Whoever sent this message is a heretic. Uh oh, they don't believe the there message. Is a heretic on terror. Pretending to be the holy god emperor of mankind. This must be the work of demons. <laughs> it must be a cult. Yes, a gene stealer cult. Oh, gene stealer! You cannot let this heretic keep doing what he is doing. Oh, they don't believe it. I don't think so. That would be kind of counterintuitive. Counterintuitive? What the fuck does that mean? Cannot perform exterminatis of holy terror yet. But what we can do is send an inquisitorial representative there as one of the High Lords of Terror and then argue with the rest of the High Lords oh? until they allow us to perform a thorough search and purge of our planet. Oh my. Oh, that sounds real good. Is <laughs> <laughs> like manual exterminatis? Manual exterminatis? And burning buildings. Maybe we can check if oh my god, they're obsessed with this. They're obsessed now, with the exterminators. Brothers and sisters, radical Puritan. The only thing you need to do is vote for me as your inquisitorial. That's not gonna happen. I will travel with my feet to terror, find the culprit who is behind these messages, and kill you for the Emperor. What? They're just gonna agree to vote him, really. I thought everyone wants power in this uh, universe. I kind of doubt that they would vote for him. But maybe they will. I don't know. The plot thickens even more. Malkador the hero. Is the next episode gonna be the spanking? The spanking of Magnus the nerd? No. It's just called the High Lords of Terra. <laughs> the spanking of Magnus the Nerd. <laughs> That's probably like a fan fiction somewhere out there. Um, oh man, I kind of want to Google if there is a. Hold on, I'm gonna Google if there is a fan fiction of that. The spanking of Magnus the Nerd. <laughs> Mm, 
Hmm. Oh! R slash imaginary warhammer. Maybe I shouldn't read that. Spunked by Steph the Altar. What? Oh my god! Oh! There's fan fiction about Magnus and... Alec? Who the fuck is Alec? Fan fiction. Magnus' birthday sanctuary. Spunking will happen in this time! <laughs> about Magnus. Spanking will happen in the story. You have been warned. <laughs> if you don't like it, don't read it. <laughs> the way <is> spanking. <laughs> if Magnus is involved. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, there's more. So anyway, guys, if you're interested, in uh, Magnus getting spanked, there's a fan fiction of it somewhere. <laughs> don't ask me how I knew this. It's it was out there. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I, I just stumbled upon it. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> the webway is <laughs> made with all this. Webway is the safer way of interstellar travels instead of warp travel that can become lost or demon raided. <laughs> oh my god. Demon loves punching word bearers. <laughs> the spanking of Magnus the Nerd. I can't believe there really is something that exists about that. <laughs> Anyway, onwards we go. Next one. Uh, I cannot read it. Hi, Lords of Terra. Ooh. Greetings, honorable man, brother. Did you hear the news? Indeed, I did, honorable. Why is it French? They will never fail. The greatest of them all are the ultramarines. Greatest of them all are ultramarines. Soon enough, I should stop hearing their constant fucking chanting in my head. I've been hearing it for so long that I'm starting to feel like I have warp traveled on a fucking bicycle. I'm still not certain about this idea, my lord. Are you defying me? No, no, absolutely not. I was just thinking, since the Ultramarines are one of the greatest forces in the galaxy, are you 100% certain that sending them to their imminent doom on a planet of the Sorceress is a good idea? Look, my child. My I know child. You're fucking stupid, but I'm your father, <laughs> and you should never argue against Stop your father. It. Oh my he god. Always knows best. The disappointed father. Of course. That's a good custodies. <laughs> That's your a good custodies. Your growing remarkably fast, just like your father's. No, oh, well. Oh, ask you with the huh? No problem, son. Oh my God, that's so cute. Now prepare your cleansing equipment. Oh my God, I, I thought there's gonna be some music there. By a fucking death eater virus. That's amazing. Also, bring my centurion. <laughs> bring my centurion. <laughs> of course, the centurion has to go. Has to go with him. Oh. Who the hell are these old people? Are these parts of the Inquisition? Oh, they are the High Lords of Terra. My bad. I wasn't paying attention. To the survival of the Imperium of Man! 
such that we have never seen before. Should we outlaw the use of laxatives to everyone but us? Because my <laughs> boo is beams. really Oh, God, lady. why? I don't need to know this. And I think that not only should we outlaw laxatives, oh my God. we should also get a new shipment of prune cakes. Prune cakes? Really helps out with how your bowels gets out <laughs> The poop topics. I, I mean, I love poop topics. My heroes need to pull the several <laughs> ways to come Oh my god, I love this episode already. And the work is the TJ Factory's gonna do that too. They want Monopoly the laxatives. I think that this is a dumb discussion for you. Biological types that are going to get your rectum nose replaced with inside the skulls. Alright, seriously, it isn't funny anymore. First, you make fun of my hat on a daily basis. Oh shit, and this now is bad. you send us ever damned message throughout the entire Imperium. Why? Uh, can you quiet down, Towerhead? I can't hear you. <laughs> We didn't say anything, I think. <laughs> oh my god, these are old people. I they don't know what don't they're doing. Know. Who am I again? <laughs> oh no, they're well, boomers. You didn't send the message. Who did? Someone is obviously being very mean. Oh, stop your whining, Decius. Can't you see that we're having a very important discussion? <laughs> <laughs> it's very important, yes. <laughs> 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 I'm the poor discussion. <laughs> Back in my day. Oh my god, the boomer. Back in my day. Well, well. Perhaps we should outlaw counting again? Oh yeah. I the door. Well, I'm gonna go back to the Ecclesiarchal Palace and figure out which one of you prune heads or this to be sent around. The Ecclesiarchy is not disbanding, and that's that. My lords, the Inquisitorial representative has arrived. Uh oh. The Inquisitorial representative? I hate that person. Ah, the Inquisition? Very well. What name does he go by? Lord Inquisitor Fyodor Karamazov? Karamazov, sir. What? <gasps> Karamazov? The zoom in. The zoom in. Flashback? No, it's not a flashback. I feel thoroughly refreshed now. The chain halberds truly do wonders. My lord, I've been thinking a little. When Magnus tried to contact you, what did he try to tell you? Are you siding with chaos now? Ooh, no, 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 shit! No, my lord. There's something going on! But I'm thinking, let's say that Magnus was actually trying to warn you about Horus at all. Okay. Okay. If that was the case, then Magnus wouldn't have had to send his message to you if Horus hadn't fallen. Yes. And Horus wouldn't have fallen if the chaplain Erebus wouldn't have tempted him to join Chaos. Right. And Erebus wouldn't have kept turning Primarchs to the ways of Chaos unless he hadn't tempted Lord Arab to his side to go with the Warren Bearer's first company captain, Corferon. Correct. So by that logic, wouldn't this all actually be Erebus and Corferon's fault? Now you are just talking out of your ass. Oh. As I said earlier, everything is Magnus's fault. Of course, my lord, you're right. I'm sorry. By the way, while you were sending that message to the Ultramarines... It was Erebus who started it all. It was Erebus who started it all! Oh my god, it has been revealed. Magnus is just... kind of incompetent, I guess. Hmm... Maybe, maybe, well, maybe Magnus is just incompetent, and Erebus started everything, and Magnus gets blamed for everything because he's there, and he didn't do the thing. Hmm. Erebus started it, but Magnus finished it. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a fan fiction. Magnus did nothing wrong. Hmm. It's Erebus' fault. Oh my god. Did you also tell them to cut early man's life support? <laughs> I'm sorry, my lord. I kind of forgot about that. Do that later, then you should boot. Speaking should of boot. which, I need you to explain something to me. What is it, my lord? Why are you the only one ever visiting me? Uh oh. Uh... The others don't care about the emperor? No way. He's the only one visiting. 
What happened to the others? Ah, <gasps> oh, disappointed father once again. He's gonna, he's gonna be even more disappointed. Oh my god, this guy. The disappointed father vibes is strong. Why didn't they show the, the custodian? I wanted to see the custodian again. Fabulous custodes. Mm, there's more, I guess. I mean, ever since I got this text-to-speech device, I have not more seen custodes. anyone but my centurion. Aww. Some tech priests, that awful no, centurion, it's it's a centurion. And Where are the rest of the custodies? Did they all die off or something? Are you the only one left? Oh. After we witnessed you at the brink of death, your body being sat upon the golden throne, all custodies went into a collective depression. Oh no, we they're depressed. We fighting outside the planet's borders. We have never left this palace since, always guarding your sacred vessel. What a bunch of pussies you are. <laughs> I can manage oh, myself, no. you know. I'm not a regular ass fucking corpse. Oh, of course not, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh my that God. still doesn't answer my question. Where are the rest of the custodies? The rest are currently guarding the palace, my lord. Well, in that case, tell them to go out and be useful instead. I didn't uh -huh. give them the best warrior in the Imperium for nothing. Yeah, about that, my lord. Most of us custodians have not only sworn an oath to never leave terror and your presence after the Horus heresy, but have also redefined the use of our war gear and armor as to oh, show no. mourning or loss. It's quite hard to explain, but, um... It's not useful in battle anymore? Oh! Of the custodians here. Oh! Some of my companions, to be exact. Do it now. Uh, are you sure? Do. It. Now. Uh oh! Very hey, Andy! Just a moment, my lord. Well, here they are, my lord. Some of your other companions. <laughs> oh! It's Jojo! Oh! Is the oil the Holy uh, shit. What buff man? Oh my Lord god! Oh, it's beautiful! I love it! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. My glorious overlord, <laughs> it's beautiful. the Emperor I like it already. I am honored to be in your presence once more. <laughs> it has truly been too oh, long, my lord. They're fabulous. My oil abs <laughs> quiver at your voice. Oh my so god, the oil abs. So this is how you want death of me, huh? I just want you to know, my lord, this was not my idea. You. We don't see you much around anymore, brother. What was your name again? Oh. My name is... Didn't we used to call him Little Kitty? Oh my god, the Little Kitty! Before selected his effort own personal caretaker. Oh, the Little oh, Kitty! Uh, oh my. I remember that little bottom anyway. Oh my god. snickering. I remember now. Little Kitten, the elected one. He has a tattoo of the emperor on his on his bicep. <laughs> a little kitten. Oh, this is amazing. Turning his way so far into our ranks, you weren't ever useful for anything more but sweet talk, were you? Oh. Speaking of which, my glorious overlord. This shit is so surreal. <laughs> Am I on drugs? Kitten over here has been your caretaker oh, for such a long time. Would you perhaps be interested if any one of your other companions were to take over oh? as the caretaker? Oh my! I do remember quite fondly that I was your favorite warrior during the Battle of Gyros Thravian. The only thing I remember about that battle is that Rokodor, Mordarian, and fucking horse were being dominated by stupid orcs. Ah, oh, dominated! Oh my! Was imminent, I came along and saved the fucking day with my massive army of golden people, killing 100,000 orcs at the cost of three of our own. I was in that battle as well, my lord. If you remember when you climbed on the enemy war boss's car gat, you stepped on my head in order to get to the top. Truly, I am deserving <laughs> of the position as your caretaker. Oh my god, I'm still this, not even these sure fools why are crazy. Guys are half naked. Why would I suddenly want to change my personal complaint manager? I mean, what do you even do? Stand around and fap in the palace? Oh! No, the first we oh, are here the first to guard your holy body, my <laughs> Oh my god! Not one scratch shall reach you while we stand guard. No scratches, huh? Try a fucking warp-induced nuke right to the face, see what happens. Uh, um... You are the strongest fucking warriors that exist in the Imperium. What in the fuck are you guys doing undressed inside oh the Imperial god. Palace literally doing fuck all? When was the last time any one of you killed anything? Oh no! Uh, Oh no. 
I killed a fly the other day. <laughs> you have the best arsenal ever put together at your disposal, and you do not use This is amazing! You should be fucking ashamed, you shit nuggets. Now, I want you three fuckers to get dressed, get at least a hundred other custodes ready, start up your ships, and go do something for the Imperium. The rest of my 300 companions can stay within the Imperial Palace for now. Very well, my lord. It shall be done. We will be back with spoils of our victory shortly, my glorious overlord. What a commanding presence! What a commanding presence! What I presence. wouldn't give to play some blood games with him. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> they so, have their own entrance music. Sh should I follow them? No, you are staying here. Aww. I still need someone Lord to tell Akureta. me stupid mm -hmm. shit I can complain about. Oh, you. It is very Lord Accurate, isn't it? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Anyway, tell me what Tyranids are. Well, you're not gonna like this. That's amazing, I love that. That's the best episode so far. <laughs> ah, the Jojo music is amazing. I love it. <sighs> no bullying the banana. Oh, he's a kitten. He's a kitten. Mm. He's very cute. I love their entrance. It's quite amazing the way they entered. <laughs> it's the most replayed as well. Oh, it's glorious. Oh, hell yeah. Holy shit. What in the name of terror? <laughs> Holy on shit. Is this? Holy shit. That's amazing. I love it. This one is amazing. Especially this guy with the tattoo. And this guy with the. Um, like a little bra. And. Uh, like. String on his abs. That's amazing. <laughs> Ah. What's so good in this series is so hard to put down. Well, it's over. Goodbye. I'm done. No, I'm joking. Um, I guess we could watch tomorrow. Let me see. Um, how many are there? How many are there? Hmm, 18? This is 18. 19, 20. Season 3? There's a season 3 as well. Oh, they're back in season 3! I see it! The naked men are back. The oiled up buff men. Hmm. How many are there? 25? There's also specials. Twenty-six, episode twenty-six, twenty-seven. Oh my god, there's more. Okay. Twenty-nine. Ah, there's more. Thirty. I thought there's 30 of them? Is that the ending? Maybe not. Is this still an ongoing series? Jesus Christ. I, it seems like the last one is the 30. Episode 30 part 2. It's not ongoing anymore. Yeah, I, I should be watching from the playlist, but the playlist is not arranged uh, chronologically. I just go by which one is recommended next. Mm. 
they stopped making a se the series because Game Workshop told them to stop. Ah, well, it's amazing. <laughs> so oh, for it begins. I suppose it's time to go do something completely inexplicable again. That's beautiful. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Hello, my old friend. Ecclesia Desis. I haven't seen you since a little argument on Salem Proctor. <laughs> oh my god, it's the boomers again! Oh my god! The poop boomers! I Inquisitor for Tannis' sake. If I suspect someone of heresy, I will take them away and torture them until they give me an answer. That's not a chair, little Billy! <laughs> oh no! It's a toilet! Oh, it's a toilet! I need to poo! Oh no! He we saved got a the entire world. With this people, he let it reconquer his planet for the Emperor, defying the heathens who control it. <sighs> that young boy was nothing but a false prophet. He lusted for power. That's what? just not right. It's it's not like Prometheus we had. Anyone got some stakes? We Ooh, had steak. one steak last Tuesday, you old shit! They just outlaw shit. That's their job for outlawing shit. Not right. <laughs> Inquisitorial <laughs> giggling. <Really? laughs> After you had your fit about us executed, was the taint of chaos? Taint of chaos, oh my! His we could have known if he was tainted or not before our final judgment was called for, but because of you, we lost that chance! Oh, but you can never be too careful about the ever-present threat of chaos, Ecclesiarch. And that is why I have come here as the Inquisition's own representative. <laughs> my nostrils hit something fierce! <laughs> my these boomers are Where's so useless! <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? What are you traveling on about now? Why have you come here, Kanamazov? I and almost every other Inquisitor in the galaxy have received a message from Terra telling us that the Inquisition and the Adeptus Ministorum are to be disbanded. Yes, I know about this message. No one here has sent it. Well, there is no doubt it. it definitely came from Holy Terror itself. A forgery of its seal Forgery of seal. Is precise. However, it's clear that the Emperor of Mankind oh, they don't know. himself wrote it. He is blasphemous. Blasphemous! It's clearly written by a heretic hiding somewhere here on this very planet. Oh. Being such a deluded fool, you do at a point. <laughs> Good. See if I can make that happen, or is it at least allowing enough blood to flow from your scalp for you to understand that this situation requires men. Oh, are you so serious, Karamazov? <sighs> so where's your. Why are you so serious, Karamazov, China? What do you intend to do? I remember the finger I had before I replaced it with an auto quill. Oh, I just made myself sad. Oh no. <laughs> the toasters! So, oh no, the toasters! Oh no, from another galaxy and have come here for the sole purpose of eating everything that is organic in order to grow stronger and fiercer. They are honestly pretty damn scary. I'm lucky to have been trained not to feel fear or anxiety over such things as a scene in a doom. And you say there have been an entire three major wars against these creatures with loads of imperial fear and anxiety. forces That's good. involved. Yes, indeed. The first, second, and third Tyrannic War. As I said, the most notable must have been the first Tyrannic War, when they supposedly first made their entrance into our galaxy. 
They completely stripped the planet Tyrant of all life there by getting the name of Tyranids. And you said during this war they destroyed the Ultramarines, devoured their entire first company, and crippled the leader of the Ultramarines. Hey, they got disconnected? <laughs> ah, a disconnection is real. It's fine, dude. With the YouTube, it doesn't really get disconnected. It's just gonna continue. Don't worry. I'm still here watching this amazing series. Oh, I liked, I like the old boomers so far. They like talking about poops. They're very relatable. Because <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm like the boomers. I don't know what's going on. I just want to talk about poop. I don't know where I am. I want prune cakes. I actually don't know what prune cakes taste like. <laughs> Always, they, they don't know where they are. They want to talk about poop and they want to hoard laxatives. Ah, very relatable. Anyway, I'm still here. Don't worry. I was a little worried there. Ah, don't be. Be looking around to see if something messing with me nice no, it's, it's my uh it's my stream it's get, it gets disconnected every now and then i don't know why i think it's because uh, because i'm thinking about poop <laughs> it, it happened last time right remember i was i was uh, so focused about the poop in the diarrhea and my stream cut off. I think it's every time I talk about poop. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, now we know. That's the main reason. I should stop talking about poop. Papa Smurf, when they first arrived, how in the name of Lee Man Ross's overinflated ego did that happen? Well, yes. All ultramarines in the galaxy were needed to beat off the assault on the crowd, <laughs> but the two main events that are most important would be the confrontation between Marnie's Kalgar. Papa Smurf? Yeah. Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf was born, and the event that ended the battle in decisive imperial victory. Papa Smurf. What the fuck is a Smurf anyway? I can already tell this is going to be a roller coaster ride of disappointment. Tell me what happened. Well, my Papa Smurf and the Swarm Lord fought Ooh, what the fuck is a Papa battle Smurf? two independent characters. The battle was fierce, but in the end, the tyranny proved too strong for him, resulting in him being gravely wounded. I am invincible. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. Oh no! He has a flesh wound. Stop it! Oh no! <laughs> We're going to draw. Of course. It happened later in the year 976 when the Ultramarines fought another high fleet called Perseus. However, the history of the galaxy is a major clusterfuck as it is anyway, so I don't know if that can still be the guy true whose art I showed you. Anyway, back to the draw. Unable to stand the mere force of losing. Oh God! Oh, you gotta see this. Legendary sent me a, a very nice picture. This is Papa Smurf. This guy. The man spreading blue guy? Oh my god. That man spread though? Ooh, is glorious. <laughs> okay, okay, that's Papa Zimur. I see, I see. The warp is interfering with the internet. That's true, that's what it's it's the warp. It's the warp, yes. What? Well, why are you disturbed by this photo? It's beautiful. I thought you like Warhammer, guys. Come on, come on. I'm sure you've seen this one before. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> a sacred spiritual legion of their already grievous losses. The oligarch of our first company sacrificed themselves to evacuate him. So this guy could not even fight an overgrown fucking book Gargamel and ended up force feeding his bodyguards to it. Wow. wow. Continue with the story. It makes my bones rattle with condensed and overpowering amusement and joy. Well, long story short, after being fixed up a bit, Marnie Papasmurf went to command the old battle of the crowd, but was led into a trap at the moon of Walter Things were not going right for them. Led into a trap by a bunch of space locusts. This is dumber than those oiled up fucking strippers I call companions. The Emperor the oiled up guys? Oh, I love them. Marnie had been charged at the heart of High Fleet Bearwolf and designated its warp drives. 
causing a cataclysmic vortex that sucked both it and the entire Tyranid fleet into oblivion. Victory at Cersei spelled the beat of my fleet mammals. I am sorry. I am just absolutely. Oh my the god, moment. Jesus Christ, that Remind scares the hell out of me. Technology is pretty backwards at the moment, correct? Um. It has oh the. God, the jump scare is Yes. And those Emperor class battleships are pretty much irreplaceable at this point because of the sheer resources and manpower needed to make them, correct? More or less, yes. So this asshole Papa Smurf, instead of just calling back his fleet to a more advantageous position, in, you know, fucking space, let one of those warships be lost forever in the warp, for some the brave union of chaos, to find a diddle around with. This huh? is getting me harder than Terminator! Oh my! I probably should mention time losses. I want you to change my orders. Tell the Ultramarines to get back Magnus without the Galar fields turned on. Let's see how they enjoy being fucked by demons, like those poor assholes in the battleships. Oh my. Oh anyway, my. Avoiding the subject of the Ultramarines further. These Tyranids actually sound pretty fucking fascinating. How easy my job would be if every human was just part of me and my giant intelligence and everything we did was in perfect harmony. Actually, remind me about that idea when I get off of this fucking oh, throne. Oh, he, he oh, wants a hive mind. mind. The human hive mind would surely be something fantastic to be part of. You're just saying that because you're thoroughly trained to be my bodyguard and not ever think, <laughs> oh nor feel, God. or have any other purpose uh, in life. This That's guy, this vital. poor banana. Fucking automaton. So anyway, these Tyranids come from the eastern fringe of the galaxy in large bug flesh ships and chomp the fuck out of everything they see. Yes? Correct, my lord. And every Correct, encounter recorded with them describes them as insect-like creatures with biological weaponry and that they are countless in number. Right. Yes, that is right, my lord. They come in endless streams, too numerous to count with beasts both minuscule and massive, all killing in their own unique, painful ways. Has anyone ever considered fucking bug spray? I'm bug spray? Sorry, my lord, but bug spray. What is that? Oh sorry, my god. I forgot. They he stopped know. manufacturing those after the dark age of technology. Well, my no lord, bug spray, it is a biochemical weapon you're referring to. I can say that it is not of much use. Regenerative power is something that the species seem to have picked up on, and many of them also have extremely advanced immune systems, so not much will work. In addition, the race is very adaptable, and if we actually were to concoct a poison against them to use it, they'd most likely gain resistance to it soon after. That is quite a fucking pickle. Is there anything that works against them? If it's not regular steel on bullets, there's actually a special mutagenic acid developed mutagenic by the best acids. Acids. to target organs from inside and out. It Ooh, is used in well nasty. Around, so it works fairly well against anything that's made of a flesh. But since Tyrion does not even have any kind of real armor, it seems to work best against them. Then why have any of you fucking idiots had the idea of filling a massive space-sized spray can <laughs> with a constant <laughs> oh stream God. of oxygen, promethium, <laughs> and this hellfire <laughs> compound, spray can. and spray the fuck out of the Tyranids' organic fleet while still in space? That's a great idea, my Emperor. You are truly the most intelligent being in the galaxy. Sigh. Sometimes Sorry. <laughs> I wish I hadn't made you custodies to be mindless automatons without feelings or emotions. It gets lonely here sometimes. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. My Emperor, you're truly the most funny being in the galaxy as well. Fucking automaton. <laughs> well, my lord, at least we aren't as bad as those Necrons. So we're talking about those sleepy solists and skeletons now. Do tell me what the fuck they have been up to. Oh. You know of them? Oh, huh. Well, at least they aren't as bad as the Tyranids. I, um, think. Uh oh. Necronsa. Next one is Necronsa. Wow, that was fun. They, they, they didn't show the the yellow pet anymore. Oh, I kind of miss that guy. Australian. It's very cute. Good night, Charlie. Thanks for dropping by. When a handful of Necron ships destroy hundreds in like a week. Oh. Work is done. I can now focus watching. <laughs> okay, we're gonna watch two more.
9 and 10. Episodes 9 and 10. And then, we're gonna end stream, but before that, I gotta go. Gotta go pee real quick. <gasps> Vegeta is here! Hello, Vegeta! Hi, Newming. Officer New. Two more? Yes, we're gonna watch two more. As a reminder, like and subscribe. Just, you know, putting up this hand up. I'm not threatening you or anything. But, subscribe, like, comment, hit that bell. And I'm gonna go pee. Okay? Gonna watch two more episodes. And I end stream. Because this stream is almost three hours. Sheesh. <laughs> oh my. Somebody's having fun. Mm. Somebody's having fun. Can I put this on my face? Yeah, okay. I knew it. It was soft. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what? <sighs> Welcome to the Naganyum stream on YouTube. What? Did you uh, did you subscribe? Soft over Sean? Huh? Oh, no scatter. <laughs> there aren't pandas or grannies here now. We don't talk about grannies on YouTube. No grannies allowed, soft to brush. You know the rules. I've been subscribed like last year. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <sighs> Yummy coffee. Okay, episode nine. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Tyra needs. Oh, Necrons. Episode nine, Necrons. Yes. Oh. Jesus. This is definitely it. The Crimson Path. The center point of the Orion subsector. Oh, when my work here is done, 
This planet shall rival Terra itself in its sacredness. Oh my. Now, Who's this guy anyway? I'm not really, really into this, but uh, I have just got to stay all <laughs> mysterious. <laughs> it is a stay mysterious in Stoic and Cool. Oh my god. Why are you so mysterious? So mysterious. Oh my god, everybody here has heard that one. Hey, let's go here. Dun -dun. Don't worry about him, it's Cypher, huh? So excited. of Terra, the holiest, the grandest, the most populated planet in the universe, to find the one who sent this message? No household shall be left on <laughs> and no person So serious. Well, if you say so, it's not like you care much for your reputation anyway. Wait. No, it's the Boomers again, of course. Dusty butt cheeks do it now. <laughs> Dusty butt cheeks. Butt cheeks. <laughs> Bad chicks can cause some malfunction. Warning. Oh my well, god. I hope you do realize that the bad chicks are too powerful. An overbuilt planet in the Imperium. It'll take decades to interrogate every single individual on this planet. Do not doubt us. This is what we are the best. Bad chicks. We will scan the entirety of Terra and its people in but a few days. This sounds highly fucking illegal. Oh. Oh. Is he popping again? My colon just oh no! Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> All that radioactive hellfire you've been exposed to exterminating every planet you come across. Exterminating. Do you even realize how hard it I is to it. mobilize on one of these hive worlds? It's really damn hard. But I guess you don't realize, since you sit on that mobility scooter all day. Hmm. Well, your hat's lost the peace. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> oh, while I wait for your speed to rate to calm itself, I shall start to descend. At least remember to expect the rule of the Not a single drop of blood. Oh, guys, I know. I love it. Grounds. When you have found your suspects, at least you have the decency of taking them far away from Terra and your eagerness to spill blood grows heavy on you. Yes, yes, I am fully aware. You have my promise. Soldiers, the search has begun. But take heed. Not a single citizen of Terra shall have his or her blood spilled on these sacred grounds. Mm -hmm. So, remember. Only to burn. No blood spill, only burn. <laughs> <laughs> my lord, was it really that funny? Oh my god. Really? Come on, the Necrons still pose a major threat. Just because the Blood Angels teamed up with them at once doesn't mean they're the Imperium's allies or anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe it is kind of funny. No, you are incapable of finding <laughs> things funny because you are. No. Alright, <laughs> oh, I forgot. But anyway, what was I? Oh yes! So the Blood Angels and the Necrons defeated the Valterians together and afterwards they went their separate ways. <laughs> the Blood Angels and the Necrons were both tired from the big battle and Commander Dante thought it was distasteful to turn on the Necrons after they had helped each other out. The Necrons were tired. The Blood Angels found something distasteful. I'd oh like my. to laugh more, but that might break my fragile funny bone. <laughs> anyway, I was under the impression 
that Necrons were tireless, soulless skeleton robots with no personality, nor care for anything. Oh. What the fuck happened? Believe me, my lord, I think we all were under the impression until we heard about the Blood Angels and their apparent alliance with them. Before, they just spent most of their time coming out on planets unexpectedly and killing anything that lives, having a singular goal in mind, which was the seal of the Eye of Terror, swat away the tyrannists, and have the rest of the galaxy become never ending, all you can eat but made for their gods. Oh, and eat buffet. Sounds like what I would do if I was a solar skeleton robot. That and slow walk around intimidatingly. <laughs> intimidatingly. <Yes. laughs> it reminds me of that hollow that I watched a few millennia back. Da 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 da. Hollow vid? What? Well, their goal is still essentially the same, but now it has become apparent that the Catan were actually somehow shattered into pieces a long time ago, and the Necrons have left over is that a VTuber reference? possession containing near limitless powers. Also, as of late, some Necrons have even been reported to have actual personalities and even feelings. <gasps> they have feelings! Um, the skeleton has half feelings! No idea what they went off to. They just sort of up sticks and left, I guess. Well, how does it feel having less emotion than a creepy fucking skeleton robot? It feels fantastic not being on the same <laughs> Oh my god, world. this guy. I guess you can put it in that way as well. Anyway, I'm intrigued by the idea of those shards. I will have to ask the remaining Terminator. Marines to get one for me when they get um. back. Um, sure thing, my lord. Just not a shard of that punk ass fan god the deceit. Necrons barely feel the need to back away from a fight unless it won't be beneficial. It's nothing out of a world or two. Aww. The description you gave reminds me too much of that mysterious, tentacle-headed, metallic jerk who came by every Saturday night to play Paradox <gasps> Billiards Boss Troy and Roulette Fourth Dimensional Hypercube Chess Strip Poker. Tentacle guy? Strip Poker? What? In the webway of Fuel Hypercube Chess Strip Poker. The Emperor played Strip Poker once upon a time. Oh my god. I never knew about this lore before. With me, Zinch, and Chego Rap in the webway a few millennia ago. Although, to be fair, at least he wasn't as much of a douchebag as that fat guy with the cigar who showed up with Zinch that one time. Huh? Huh? I thought all this time you've been having a constant mental war with the forces of chaos as well as guiding our ships through the power of the Astronomical. I'm a motherfucking emperor. I'm allowed a day off once in a while. <laughs> oh, it's just a day Besides, off. I'm the best fucking multitasker in the galaxy. Oh, sorry, of course, my lord. So far, I have to say that I'm not impressed. These Necrons do not sound as much of a threat as those hungry space cockroaches. Well, my lord, they are still more of a threat than you might think. Which actually reminds me of a story I need to tell you. Ooh, more story, let's go. Your pride and your angels of death. Good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck with that. World engine. What is it? Anything that crosses this path. Later during year 926, after several Imperial planets have been destroyed by the Wald engine, a whole lot of space marines and the entirety of a local Imperial fleet were sent to destroy it. Holy shit, a giant skeleton space robot planet that shoots molecule breaking beams and destroys everything it spots. I want one. All these forces attack the world engine at the same time. The world engine. Maybe a nine various a harm. This, together with the vessel's mighty arsenals and planet devastating weaponry, cost millions of lives during that battle. I guess no one knows what retreating is in this fucking Imperium nowadays. So, now here is the awesome part. The Space Marines known as the Astral Knights. I never made anything called Astral Knights. No, seriously, my lord. Oh. You wouldn't even care that you didn't directly make them. You see, all of the Astral Knights decided to ram their spaceship, the Battle Barge and Pestus, straight into the World Engine's void shield. Fucking damn it. Why do you assholes keep wasting precious battleships? <laughs> the shield cracked Oh, the disappointed the father again. Engine, oh, no. Astral Knights to board it and destroy all weapons, energy batteries, supplies, commandos, and Necrons inside. The battle continued inside the world and for a hundred hours, all marines dying doing what they do best. But not before their leader, Amtor Ara, decided to overload the entire damn vessel in its central core with the help of some melter grenades. 
After this destructive overlord, the Voyager was turned off completely, and this is where the rest of the Imperial fleet took their chance to shot the crap out of the planet ship with cyclonic torpedoes. Well, slap me on the kneecap and call me a fucking skeleton. <laughs> that is actually amazing. Slap me on the kneecap and call me a skeleton. The remains of the world engine were taken in by the Adeptus Mechanicus while the battle barge Tempestus was salvaged, and set up as a monument with an Imperial shrine in it, holding statues of the 772 astronauts that had sacrificed themselves to bring down the world engine. Sorry. Oh, you know what? I this this series is very entertaining, but it's like bombarding me with so much information. I cannot keep all of them in my head. That's what I could say about this uh, series. It's entertaining, but these words I don't understand what they mean. <laughs> There's so much going on. It's like, ah, oh, what? Do I need to remember this? Hmm. So many names. So much going on. I was totally mistaken. I totally remember that I did make the Astral Knights now. They were one of the secret legions I made before the Great Crusade that I never told anyone about. They were the best around. Nothing was ever going to keep them down. Right. Right. Say, my also, on the previous subject matter, I have to say that I kind of like that one Necron that you mentioned. Trashy the Incontinent or something. Do you mean Trace the Infinite, my lord? That's what I said, you two a fucking custard. Anyway, even if he is an alien fiend, I cannot deny that the idea of stealing incredibly valuable objects from all around the galaxy only to put them in a massive skeleton robot space museum is a great one. Ah, uh, yes. His only goal in the galaxy is to claim historical Oh my god, I forgot like 90% uh, of what happened in this series. Absolutely hilarious. At some point, we should send some marines there to steal all his shit just to fuck with him. I think I know a group of space marines capable of just that. Do you now? Do tell. Oh shit. Well. Who are they? Uh oh. The Inquisition is here. We are here. To Stop right there. Who wrote the message? I don't know what you're talking about. Didn't you hear me? Who wrote the message? Excuse me, are you allowed to do this? Of course we are. Haven't you heard from the High <laughs> We are here to interpret everyone on Terra. Who wrote the fucking message? Where are the jeans <laughs> Oh, it's them! Oh my! Hell yeah, they're back! <laughs> oh, they're back! Let's go! What makes you lunatics think you are allowed to do this? Yes, the Aren't you supposed to stand to be the Imperial Palace? Well, you say, this is special care. Oh my god! <laughs> I love them! I demand an answer for is what you inquisitors are doing here, burning Terran, harassing its citizens. We are here because the message is supposedly sent from God Emperor himself, telling us the Inquisition is to be disbanded. Clearly, the message was written by a heretic, and the heart goes oh. to find it. They don't know. <laughs> Fools. <laughs> the is from the Emperor, straight from the Sanctum Imperiali, within the Imperial Palace. He is the reason why we're outside the palace in the first place. So you have no reason to perform this heinous act upon our planet. You don't prove that it's possible! I should punch you, boy. If the Emperor was alive or what, we would know. You are heretics! Because the these are heretics! Uh oh. Let's get back to Fyodor and tell him about this. <laughs> Fucking grox ass inquisitors. I'm now incredibly aroused. <laughs> what a way to end an episode. <laughs> Sheesh. The oil, the buff man. Oh no. They really know how to make an entrance and how to finish an episode. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. I already forgot everything that happened in this episode, except that they arrived. Hmm. <laughs> Next, okay, last one. Last one, and then we end stream, okay?
，OK，OK，、okay? okay. 啦啦啦 ，Episode Day 呢 ？Bold and foolish。Oh my God! Is he kissing that guy? <laughs> It's a musical. Oh my! Before you say another word, your vengeance. Before you burn me like a heretic. Listen to me. There is something I must do. This woman leaves behind a suffering child. I didn't know it's gonna turn into a musical. Sheesh. Subject has been found yet? Don't they understand that sitting around here is incredibly boring? <laughs> sitting around is incredibly boring. <laughs> hey, Isn't it boring around here? Like incredibly boring? <laughs> Be quiet, Dominic. It's what I just said. Oh my God, no, Dominic! I just said. You know, oh my God, before, Dominic! This guy. I've always dreamed of being up on that throne and all that. Fun things I could do up there. I said, "Quiet!" Well, giving me a headache. No, you don't make wants to sit on the throne. Someone feed the goat so he quiets down. We're trying to do important high lord things here. Shut up, little Billy! <laughs> no, to the business at hand. Never. What, what were we discussing? I think it was something relating to banning the breathing of air from banning the breathing of us. air. Sheesh! Ah, the oh, they're out of control. And if all of the normals use it, it'll be not left for us. Well, I'm not sure. My generals need to breathe as well to make commands. Whatever it is they are commanding again, and I don't think they can do that very well without air. <laughs> <laughs> I usually seem to generate currents of air right before I. <laughs> I generate currents of air right before I pull. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> Wait. Uh, these boomers are really fighting. Important? I don't remember. I don't I'm remember. Oh, he's sleepy. Just go up there and find the heretic myself. Oh, hey, are you the guys I sent to buy my sandpaper cigarettes? I really need my fix of nicotine and throat lacerations. How else do you <laughs> think I always sound so calm and sexy? <sighs> What is it that you want? Don't we three have some sewers to investigate? We were confronted by three custodians while interrogating some citizens. Custodians? You're joking. We are not. The custodians never make the imperial powers. They were right there, though. And the custodians told us that the emperor really is the one who sent the message. Mm -hmm. Of a thousand dead fucking heretics. Are you saying? Oh, the Angus. So well, in that case, we're all walking straight into the Imperial oh, Palace. They're going to the source itself. With us. Hold your mega chairs for just a moment, Inquisitor. What do you think you are doing? <sighs> Not you. Stop standing around there, all silent and dead, like an unplugged fucking mechanicus out, and tell me who these space marines are. This anticipation is for some reason killing me. Then again, I'm a decaying corpse, so that might also be a contributing factor. Well, they are renowned in the Imperium for stealing a lot of relics from both other chapters and factions within the Imperium. 
It's not really known how they do it, or exactly why, but they have somehow managed to amass a astounding amount of orchid due to this. So what are they called? I believe they're called... The... The... Um... Something. The what? Actually, I don't remember. Wait the fucking go. Go go ahead. Whoa, 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 you what are you talking the about? I don't know. Level of stupid, the disappointing kind of stupid. Come to think Ooh, of it, Dorama. It is as in, only I don't, I don't know what they're talking about now. Within an entire legion is good at this. Oh no, no, my lord, they are not part of a legion. Why the fuck would there ever exist a single chapter outside of a legion? Well, you see, seven years after the war's heresy, an event took place known as the Second Founding. The Second Founding? Oh man. This already sounds about as unnecessary as the Dark Eldar. Wasn't the appropriately named only founding good enough? Actually, I think the name only was found. changed to the first founding after they came up with the second one. Really? Wow. What, what? an unbelievable excess of stupid. Yeah, anyway. The Primarch of the Ultramarine Swabu government. My singular cybernetic, I just detected a large rise in ignorance and hubris in this room from the mere mention of that name. Created the Curious Stasis, which is a set of rules and guidelines really and nowadays is used by thousands of space marine chapters throughout the galaxy. Thousands? The Curious Stasis became the foundation for a second founding, a skull and the creed that all legions still loyal were to be split up and organized into armies consisting of roughly ten companies each. One of these chapters were to retain their parent legion's original name, symbol, and color scheme, while the others could basically go and do whatever they wanted with that. So now we've got fucking ultramarine babies spread out across the entire galaxy, all secluded from the rest of the Marine babies. To form their own beliefs. There's a lot of ultramarine babies everywhere. Inspired by the original, which was already an enormous pile of stupid to begin with. Seriously, are you actively trying to make my in life even more difficult? Uh, in life. Well... In addition, yes. this jungle has split <laughs> up the Imperium's yes. mighty bulwark and made it into a rotten picket fence that even a small child could break down. What made you people think that this was a good idea? But my lord, Garland's intentions were noble. He recognized that in order for something like the Horus Heresy to not ever be possible again, the massive marine armies should be separated and spread out. And now to see no activity is more rampant throughout the Oh, it's not working! Perhaps the girly man's head wasn't stuck so far up his buttocks, fervently kissing his own ass, <laughs> he would have proved right his work oh, before no. publishing. Poor guy. Know, right now, there could be hundreds of chapters out there pledging oh, his their father is disappointed chaos, at him. Or perhaps even worse. It's and so we sad. have no fucking idea about it or a way to stop it, because all our defenses are so thinly spread. There could even be chapters consoling and accepting both Xenos and Chaos worshippers into the ranks. Maybe even chapters so fucking reclusive and historically inept that their mere existence sound like something out of a disgustingly horrible and shitty fan fiction. Oh? You guys have a feeling we're being <laughs> really hard right now. Who are these people? Uh, we're always being shat on. Who are they? <laughs> are they new, uh, new marines? Oh no. Emperor doesn't like them. They're a bunch of hippies. Staying, uh, staying alive, I guess. <laughs> the drip, though, is amazing. Fuck you, you fish. Fuck you, cactus. Fuck you, thought fish. You were going to win this poker game, but it was actually I, fresh. Oh my God. <laughs> Fucking damn it, Gilsman. Speaking of which, did Fun you tell them to cut his life support yet? The Black it's Legion? It's very fucking important. Actually, when you've done that, make sure to bring that status field power adapter here. I might need that extra power to charge my data slate to play whatever new Battle Mace 42 million game is out or whatever else might exist. Not Call of Duty though, they seriously need to stop releasing those shitty fucking rehash games every year. Right. Oh. Lord, I'll make sure not to forget it this time. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, are the Ultramarines somehow connected to all bad things that has happened for the last 10,000 <gasps> years? It oh feels my. like we keep bringing them up all the time. Well, they have kind of become the poster boys of the Imperium, so can't really avoid mentioning them. Oh, speaking of which, I actually remember the name of that feeding chapter now. Really? What is it then? The name of the chapter is the Blood. Yeah. Oh! They're back! I'm so sorry for interrupting. <laughs> oh my! Something very important 
warriors you have found. Oh shit, it's my eternal torment upon this throne made manifest again. You see, we were outside the palace, traveling through the spires of terror, when we noticed that everything was on fire. Nothing that you yeah, everything was on fire. It's by way either. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Apparently there are inquisitors running amok all around the planet. They are looking for the one who aye, set aye, that aye, message, demanding the disbanding of the Inquisition and the Adaptus and its stores. So they have arrived. Oh, the Imperis of Ares. Really? Really. The Ares? <laughs> go to the High Lord to be there, but perhaps the Imperis of Ares can be argued with. If not, we can just get home. You or something. There is no time to be lost. Let's go. I guess it's Black Legion? Hmm. I'm fucking down. Oh! I was foolish to believe you would hold a promise like this one. You are untrustworthy filth, not ever worthy of the Emperor's blessing. I am the only one here worthy of the Emperor's blessing. I am the uh -huh. only one who's going to save him from his very own corrupted bodyguard. You are not entering the palace, Theodore. I would like to see you try and stop me. I'll gladly show you. Oh. Guards. Oh. Oh my, who are they? Rar. I like that Rar. Be quiet, Dominic. Well, here we are, Theodore. At long last, I can put you and your miserable little cult away. Never to interfere with the Emperor's will again. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> have you forgotten that my throne is a massive weapon arsenal? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit. We're gonna light you up. Like a sandpaper cigarette. I saw Jojo Rabbit. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> That was a bad time to pause. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you and the rest of Terra do not meet my demands, I will have this entire room and all of its inhabitants fall prey to my throne of judgment. It is too bad for you that this passive decree is still in effect, isn't it? Fear are you absolute. Yes. Oh, don't feel too bad. <laughs> At least my Melta will fly away from this existence. Melta! Instead of splattering your blood across the floor. Because that was your primary concern, wasn't it? Dude! There's some monkey on this side. Looks like a monkey. Without clothes. This guy is the one obsessed with the cigarettes. Now, I am going into that path. Oh. And I alone will save the Emperor and the Imperium of Man! <gasps> That's the end of it! Oh my! <laughs> That's it! Episodes 1 to 10, if the Emperor had a text-to-speech device. Okay, for anyone who commented that I should watch this, and anyone who said in the live chat that I should watch this, I watched it. Happy? Yes? Yes. We watched episodes 1 to 10. We could watch the next one's uh, next stream, I guess. Mm. Looks like an assassin. Woo! The... The monkey? <laughs> oh, you're in the, the guards. Well... That was fun. I forgot everything already. <laughs> There's so much information in it. I cannot keep it in my brain. I have a tiny brain. I... I don't remember anything. All I remember is this: the, there's the Emperor, there's the Custodis who keeps staring him stories, and he likes the uh, yellow custodian. It's like his pet. And... Yeah, there's the Boomers discussing about poop and laxatives and breathing. There's Karamazov, there's the Inquisitors. Yes, that's all I remember. <laughs> and there's also this mysterious guy who's monologuing, and I don't know who he is. It's very mysterious. 
Thanks for watching, everyone. Ending song time. Like and subscribe. Yes, like and subscribe, everyone. That was fun. <laughs> what a weird series. It's quite entertaining, except I don't understand what's going on. There's so much information that flies over my head. Oh, I mean, I also like the the naked oiled up buff men. They're amazing. <laughs> Uh, the oil, the buff man. Ooh, I love it. I also remember that part when the emperor was talking about street poker. Mm. Listen. <laughs> Have you seen Strolling Through Ultramar? 40k SFM? Original sax machine video? Also, heresy detected the meme. Mm. Strolling Through the Original sax Marine video. Yeah, I've seen that one. It's pretty good. I hear oiled up, oiled up and naked. Yeah, yeah, Oiled up and naked. These ones. <laughs> Who won the street poker? Ah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <sighs> Okay, goodbye. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm gonna... Um, I'm probably gonna separate uh, the TTS part into another video. But this stream is gonna be uploaded right after it ends. But I will also upload the TTS part alone as a video. So if people just want to watch it, a separate video, they could watch it. Yes? Yes. Also, I have to check if there's like copyright thing in this stream. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. Goodbye. It's gonna auto-upload, yes. Thanks for watching, everyone.